Hi, it's Sean from MyCutSearch.com and today I wanted to show you this product that I am in love with from The Buckle Boutique. It's called their Dazzling Diamond Self-Adhesive Sheets and it looks like rhinestone sheets. It's all sparkly. I hope you can see that in the video. But the nice thing about it is you can cut it and I don't mean just between the grid line cut, you can actually cut curved shapes with it, such as like this card. I cut the Donald Duck hat out of the blue um, Dazzling Diamond self-adhesive sheet. So I'm going to show you how to cut it right now. You want to place it upside down on your Cricut mat so that the adhesive backing side is up. This will give you a better surface to cut through. Now in your, your blade housing, you want to make sure you have a deep cut blade. So that's going to make sure it gives you a, a deeper, thicker cut. You use your deep blade when you're cutting things like chipboard, um, anything that's just thicker than a cardstock. You're also going to want to make sure you have a multi-cut on. I like to use a multi-cut of four just to make sure it really goes through deep. Um, then it just goes over the same cut over and over again. I also have my blade setting on six. And then my speed is at two. And my pressure is at three. Let me just double check. Yes, at three. Okay. So now I'm going to just load it into my Cricut and I'm going to cut this fleur de lis and let's do it at three inches. Now I'm just going to double check my multi cut. So I'm going to go under settings and it's on four, so that's good. Okay. So then. This is the part that's going to be a little boring on the video is just watching this cut four times right on top of itself. But trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. Because in the end, you're going to be able to make things like this card with the sparkly Christmas tree or again, Donald Duck or I even did this card out of their rainbow. It's all sparkly and pretty. And then on a scrapbook layout, I used it down here to spell out the word smile. So you can see those are all curved shapes. So it's going to cut right through all those curves. And the reason I can do that is these aren't hard rhinestones. They're kind of more like a gel. They're soft and squishy. It's kind of fun to guys squish on them. Um, so that it can actually cut through those instead of cutting around. See how it cut even all into this little delicate swirl. This one I did have to be careful when I was popping it out because of that little delicate swirl. But even with cardstock, you have to be kind of careful with some of those delicate little swirls. Alright, we're probably almost done. Because the rhinestones are so thick, that's why you want to use the multi-cut and the deep blade so that it really goes through. Unload. And yes, it's still attached, but if I just push a little bit of pressure, it's going to pop right out. Oh, this is so fun. So yes, it's not like cardstock where you just peel it off the mat and boom, there it is. You do have to peel it a little bit, but remember, this is a really thick material. But it's going to be so worth all this extra work of having to apply that little bit of pressure to go pop. 
Oh, come on, pop. And boom! There you have it. Let me put it on something darker so that you can see it better. Look at that, all sparkly and all those curved edges came out so nice. So if you want to add just a little extra bling to your projects, check out the Buckle Boutique and their dazzling diamond self-adhesive sheets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.